following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Captain Jim for Boatest.com. Today I'll be doing a detailed test and review of the 22 Encore Pro Angler by Manitou. Let's take her out on the water and see how she does. Manitou has developed its own tube design that provides the handling characteristics for the 22 Encore. It's called VP for value and performance and it consists of three tubes with the center tube oversized and set lower than the outboard tubes. The conventional flat bottom triple tube has been retired from the Manitou lineup and the last of this style of boat has been replaced with the new VP. The VP incorporates similar hull characteristics of the SHP but is designed for more moderate speeds and lower horsepower ratings. Along with the standard Teleflex Seastar hydraulic steering, the VP provides the maneuverability you'd expect from a V-hull. Positive angle lifting strikes on the inside and outside of the center tube create a chine-like feature that adds lift and stability. The integrated splash guards are designed for maximum durability. The battery safety switch is located just in front of the engine well area and concealed from the cockpit view. The battery is located underneath the live well station in a ventilated compartment with an access hatch located inboard. The helm seat is a plush, comfortable captain's chair with armrests that raise and lower. The seat can be adjusted to recline, swivel, and slide forward and back. The simulated walnut wood grain dash is accented with the black trim at the gauges. A cup holder is conveniently located to starboard, and the Lowrance Elite four color fish finder is mounted forward of the right side console. The two analog gauges are flush mounted and flank an area reserved for a smart screen system. The tilt wheel comes standard and is from Italian designer Gussie. The simulated wood grain pattern on the aluminum wheel is achieved by a dipping process. The premium Polk sound system is flush mounted on the left side of the console. To the right of the helm is the usual array of switches and a USB and 12 volt port. At the front of the helm console, there are two access points into the storage area, or from the side through the hinged hatch door. A cooler comes standard with the boat, but there is plenty of room for additional items to be stored next to it. The engine oil reservoir is located under the base seat cushion of the mid-cockpit seating arrangement on the port side of the boat. This provides easy access for refilling. The Manitou 22 Encore Pro Angler has an overall length of 22 feet 10 inches, a beam of 8 foot 6 inches, and a draft of 14 inches. With 17 gallons of fuel on board, two people and 25 pounds of test gear, we had an estimated test weight of 3,182 pounds. The 22 Encore is engineered to handle an outboard rating of 115 through 150 horsepower. Our test boat was equipped with the Evinrude E-Tech 150 horsepower, turning a 15 by 15 stainless steel propeller. This engine should provide instant throttle response, good power and performance, while providing respectable fuel efficiency. Let's take a look. At wide open throttle, we reach the top speed of 34.4 miles per hour at 5500 RPM. At that speed, we were burning 15.4 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 88 miles. Best Cruise came in at 3,000 RPM and was 18.5 miles per hour. That produced a comfortable ride with a 5.4 gallon per hour fuel burn, which meant a range of 135 miles, while still maintaining a 10% reserve. We had a quick time to plane of only 3.3 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, and continued accelerating through 30 miles per hour in 9.3 seconds. As for handling, the Encore responds well to the input. She stays dry crossing wakes thanks to the splash guards, so she can handle chop well. And there's no tendency to lean to the outside of the turn. She accelerates from a nearly level attitude and settles back into the water the same way. Well, it appears that the team at Manitou has created a boat that is clearly designed to provide a comfortable, easygoing ride. And that's my look at the performance of the Manitou 22 Encore Pro Angler. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Jim. We'll see you on the next one.